All right, what's up, guys? Wombo J back at it again with another weapons review. Today, it's gonna be the Lucian's Call. Now, this is a Vladoff gun with the flavor text. What happened? Plus 33% weapon fire rate, five times weapon zoom, and it slows enemy because it has cryo with 110% cryo efficiency. This is similar to the Rowan's Call. Critical hits return two bullets to your magazine and ricochet two bullets at the nearest enemy. Again, those two guns on flak are dope. I'm going to show you on the Chupacabra like I usually do in these reviews because he's it's a really easy farm spot, but he's not really an easy boss. I just have a really good build. This is, is on Mayhem Mode 3. Let me just show you that before I destroy him. Yep, Mayhem level 3, plus 100% health, plus 150 shield and armor. Enemies gain plus 40%. I really don't have any debuffs towards my guns or anything like that, so this is kind of... You know, this is neutrals I can really get it in Mayhem 3. And I'm just gonna go in the fadeaway and just show you how this works. Now then, this is slower than the Rowan's call, definitely, but it freezes him to the point where he just doesn't move. It's a wagon wheel. I need to use that. Dock, arc targets, slide, arcs, beams. I don't really need that. Ah, oh, Schmitty Man Warb and Jaeger Jensen. Going down. But uh, yeah, let's show you on some real enemies here. Look at that. The Frost. I need to hurry up before he dies. Because if I die, I'm dead. But uh, yeah. Look at the damage. Now then, again. It's weaker than a Rowan's Call by like half. Cause this only does 303 i think and the rowan says like 606 so it's a lot weaker than it but i'm pretty sure that the cryo damage makes up for that because it freezes them in place and for mini bosses and like special enemies like Chupacabra and regulars in general this gun is great now then i would still choose the rowan's call because of it just has more damage to it but I do like the cryo effect on this one. Now, I do know the Rowan's Call can come in irradiated and fire. I haven't seen another version of this one, but I'm pretty sure it does have it. And uh, let's just show you on this aggressive heavyweight. Let's look at look at the damage. Finally froze him, but he was still... He can't really do anything about it. Look. Oh my god. If you have even the slightest bit of aim, just tap their heads. This guy's even resisting it. Oh yeah, because he's a frostbite heavyweight. Oof. Smitty Werbin Man Jaeger Jensen, please get me back up. Smitty help. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, okay, okay. Now then. I don't know where the other guy went, but look at all this damage I'm putting out. Okay, here's the Frostbite guy. I'm supposed to... Yeah, I'm really bad against him, actually. So, yeah, if you're going against Frostbite guys, just... Try not to use it against them. That really kind of showed it. It's really bad. That goes for most guns in this game if they have the same element. Really bad. But against anything else... Like this guy over here. Turn on this. Reload. Should have reloaded before I went in. Look at that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this fire is a lot faster than the Rowan's Call. Doesn't do as much damage though. But it and it has cryo. Either I would still yeah, like I said, I would still choose the Rowan's, but I really do like this gun gun is really really good if you have it i wouldn't be mad at it still would try to get a rowan's but i'd use this this is a really decent gun especially if they don't resist cryo this gun is dope if they don't resist cryo or have like a real shield like the chupacabra like it froze him almost halfway through his health and it just melted him after that so yeah but uh want and like comment subscribe down below if you don't i can't force you so but just thanks for watching and uh that's it for this review so uh yeah